Alrighty, guys, I hope this helps some of you out. This is stuff that's actually growing in the garden right now. Actually, this one's in Keeley's little greenhouse. So this one's indoors. These are some microgreens. And this is going to be some creative common videos that you guys are going to be able to use in your own videos. So if you want to talk about microgreens or these trays that we got on Amazon. And I've got some outside. We've got a little lizard. He was hanging out in it looking for bugs. So you can use little clips like that for just like B-roll. Just toss it in here and there. People love to see it. I have fun making videos just tossing things like that in. I haven't even done a video on this yet. It's in the bucket with a Mylar bag. This is my baby, my tomato plant. This was the runt. I'm going to do a video on him. But this video is going to be up if anybody else wants to talk about it or if you want to try. Like most of the things that are in here, if you go to start it, you don't have any results to show people yet. So if you want to go get a tomato plant in a bucket and you want to start growing it, you can do that. You can start making a video and you can say, well, this is what this guy did. I'm going to try and do the same. And you can show people what you're shooting for. Now, this right here is a green onion. It's going on three years. They're little tiny green onions. We took them, we planted them out and we just keep cutting and harvesting off of them. Don't do hardly any care to it. I hardly ever put nutrients. The only time I put a little nutrients in is when I have a little left in the container when I'm filling everything else up. I might dump a little on the top there. But basically, these things have stayed out here through the winter. They keep growing. They keep coming back. And it's going on its third year. I finally changed the container because the container was getting so old. Here's a bunch of kale. This is our nursery tray. So there's 64 plants growing inside of this one downspout. So that's what you can talk to people about. You can take your microgreens like the video that I showed you in the very beginning. Tell them to take those and put them into a nursery tray like this. Then they can get established where you can move them around to bigger containers like this downspout. Now Keely planted these really dense because we're just going to eat these as baby greens. We're going to let these grow a couple weeks and we're going to start harvesting them. And we got a little bit of mint. You can't have enough mint, right? You can use mint and you're cooking in that with lamb. You can uh, make mojitos. It's awesome in tea. Got our little milk jug container going. Here's some little shots for you. We'll have more as these grow. But if you want to talk about just using recycled containers, you know, here's how to take a recycled container and a cheap pool noodle, you know, a little bit of nutrients, and you can start growing your own plants. So we'll bring you more of that later. This is dino kale. It's grown in a target container. Pool noodles on the side here. That's what holds it on. I'll have more videos on that. But like I said, you know, if you guys want to just show somebody hydroponics and say, you know, here's some kale, you know, that somebody grew in a target container, you know, I'm going to try and do the same thing. This way you've got kind of results that you can show people. There's pak choy. And this one we've got hanging on a wall with little brackets. I just got up at Home Depot. I think there were three or four bucks. And uh, I can just switch this out. So if we have kale growing and, and we want to harvest this pak choy, we'll pull it off. We can toss a kale up here. I'll throw you a couple pictures if you want to talk about growing in these homemade DIY off-grid garden towers. We've got the peppers here, tomatoes, you can see them all. I'm going to have full tutorials on this. This is going to be coming out, like, I think this Friday. And you'll know more about it, you know, the method that I use for growing it. But basically, if you just want to talk about, you saw how I set them up, right? You've got a picture here where you can show people. And here's another one. This was the firehouse buckets. Guys, people want to see videos on these garden towers. And this is just buckets stacked up, right? They're spending hundreds to thousands of dollars on garden towers. And this one we put together, they were $3 a piece. That's 9 bucks. That's less than $10. And you got some pool noodles, some nutrients, and we're growing loads of basil here. And you guys have seen over the year, right, we've grew... 
uh, bunches of kale in it. Right now we've got the tomatoes and the peppers. You can grow just about anything in it. Showing people always ask, how do you fill it up, you know, with all the plants? I leave an empty one in the back. Then I can just add the nutrients right there to any one of them. And this is the cinnamon basil, a little different flavor. You might see we have a lot of basil, a lot of mint in that, but we have a lot of different varieties. Now this, I haven't even made a video on it yet. This is a Dollar Tree container. People love Dollar Tree videos. Make a video about, you know, go up to your Dollar Tree and just say you're going to build one. This was a little $1 pitcher, and it's black. I didn't want to paint it. I went and got the vinyl, the sticky vinyl that they use for, like, cutting out stuff on a little Cricut machine or something. And I just took it, peeled it off, stuck it on outside there, cut the little holes in it, and you've got a cracky container. And we're growing kale in here and i like this the holes are on the side so you can lift off the top add your nutrients in put the top back on so you've got a video right there right you can take that and just do that or go make your own this might just give you an idea to go make a video for yourself but even if you just do your own it's always good to have like an extra shot of something else and here's some target containers you can talk about the difference between putting the holes on the side or on the top. I'll have a lot more of that coming, but here's some videos for you guys if you want to use it and you just want to talk about it yourself. And as these things grow, I'll bring you more videos. So this Target, can, not Target, Dollar Tree, we've got them on the side. That means you can stack them up too. So if you can find some way to attach them or hook them to a pole or something, you can stack these up like a little mini tower. So I think that'd be a cool video. That might be something that's in the works. And if you just want to talk about stuff in the downspout, this is kale. This We've been coming in here harvesting off of it. We've got a lot of it growing. Hardly any care. You know, just maintain your nutrient solution. And basically, like a handful like this, we just went shopping the other day, was $3 for a handful of organic uh, dino kale. So you can see we got $3, $3. And look down here how much we've got. And that all came from pennies, pennies worth of seeds. That's why I use the microgreens. That's something else you can talk about, too. If you go get a pack, it costs maybe 4 or 5 bucks. So that's way more than 4 or $5 worth of kale, right? If you get the microgreens, uh, you're only paying pennies. And here's just some stuff Keely's got growing inside. We'll have more videos coming out on that. We're testing out these new grow lights. And she had kale and um, all kinds of stuff growing in here. But this is basil, cilantro, lots of other things. So we'll talk to you all later. I hope that that helps. We've got plenty more coming.